What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your pre-pick in the Chicago Cubs versus Colorado Rockies. Major League Baseball matchup going down Monday, April 1st, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between the Chicago Cubs and the Colorado Rockies for the Chicago Cubs. It is the major league debut of Shota Imanaga while the uh, Colorado Rockies will debut Dakota Hudson, who's one of their star signings of the off season. Hudson making his uh, transition from the St. Louis Cardinals to the Colorado Rockies. And, you know, the thing about uh, Dakota Hudson was that he's been a solid con uh, contributor for that Cardinals rotation for his entire time there. Um, but he started to really regress uh, the last couple seasons. ERA's up over four, four and a half, closer to five last year. I mean, across 18 games, 12 starts for Hudson. He went six and three with a 4.98 ERA, and that followed up a 4.45 ERA the year prior across 26 starts. Um, so we'll have to see if uh, if Hudson can kind of rein that in uh, now for the Rockies. I mean, the problem is he's going to pitch half of his starts at Coors Field, but you know, the, the, the potential could be there for a bounce back season for Hudson, and it's going to have to be considering the slow start that the uh, the Rockies offense has gotten out to this season for the fact that I consider the Rockies to probably be one of the worst offenses in baseball this season. That's what I'm projecting them to be. So we'll have to see if that ends up being the case. On the other side, you've got, you know, Shota Imanaga coming over from Japan. He was one of the best international signings available this season. And for good reason. I mean, this is a guy that, you know, had a fantastic, you know, World Baseball Classic. He looked really good in in, in the uh, the Japanese league last year, you know, in uh, in the MPB. Twenty four starts, one hundred fifty nine innings pitched. He did have a seven and five record, but a two point six six ERA, a one point oh two WHIP, one hundred eighty eight strikeouts to just twenty four walks. Um, you know, you know, Yama, Yoshinobu Yamamoto is going to get a lot of the the attention going to the Dodgers, but like I said, Imanaga was was really really good in twenty twenty three and. We'll have to see if he can be a pitcher that you know can definitely transition to the uh, to the major leagues, or if we have another Daisuke Matsuzaka situation where there's a lot of fanfare and then proved out to, to not be a whole lot. But I do think that there is something here for at least his first start for Imanaga. Yeah, there could be some jitters here, but you know the Colorado Rockies really struggled in terms of team OPS against lefties last season. They were 25th in baseball in that regard. Um, so I think that not only does the mystery play well here for Imanaga, but I think that, um, you know, the, the Rockies' inability to hit lefties is going to play well as well. And, you know, I just think that, uh, you know, Imanaga has an ability to, you know, throw a ton of breaking stuff. He has a great spin rate on his on his, on his his pitches. So I think the Rockies are going to have some trouble here. But like I said, the, the Chicago Cubs weren't that great in their opening series either against the Texas Rangers. And I think this is going to be a low-scoring game early. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen once the bullpens get involved here. But, you know, sometimes early afternoon baseball, the wind can be blown at Wrigley. I haven't checked the wind for, for Monday's game yet. But I'm going to go with the first five innings under. I rarely take first five plays. But, like I said, there's just a lot of volatility here, I think, with the bullpens. And I think that these are two teams that are going to get out to slow starts in this game. Like I said, I think the Rockies are going to have trouble figuring out Imanaga early on. And I think that the, uh, the Cubs may come out slow, even against Dakota Hudson here. So... I'm going to go with the under in the first five between the Cubs and the Rockies, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.